Tell me about yourself. Uh, my name is Finch, and I am a street artist in San Francisco, California. And what kind of art are you? What what kind of artist are you? Describe your work a little bit more than that. Gotcha. Uh, so the art I do is all stencils and spray paint, and I uh, particularly focus on um, multi-layered stencils, uh, as few as three layers and as many as about twelve, just depending on the image. And uh, the art I do basically breaks into two broad categories: I have a nature art, like the painting you see in front of you, um, or pop art. So I paint all of honey bears and uh, lips, things like that. And how and why did you become an artist? I started following street art in college, uh, particularly Banksy. And what I liked about his work was that he created cognitive dissonance, where you knew the piece was illegal and was going to be removed, but you liked it and wanted it to stay, um, which kind of led you to question, like, why couldn't it stay and what could the space be used for? Um, and when I moved to San Francisco after college, I just didn't see any work like that. Um, there was still some uh, some koi around, and there still are, from an artist named Jeremy Novi. Um, and so like, that was really cool, but he had already moved out of town by the time I got here. And a couple other people who had been active were inactive at that point. And so you know, I kind of moped about it for a bit, and then I just decided to be the change I wanted to see in the world. And went out and started creating street art. What's the hardest part about being an artist? Uh, it's a really tough business. If you want to do it full time, I finally come to understand part of why this is true, which is that most artists face both a supply problem, that it's hard to make paintings, and a demand problem, that it's hard to sell paintings. And you have to be crazy to opt into a business where both supply and demand are hard. Awesome. Uh, what draws you to the subjects of, of birds? So my family makes a lot of bird-related artwork. Um, my grandfather actually had a wooden crow that he carved in my house. So he's also known cardinals and bougies, and then my aunt does like, dioramas where she makes birds inside of bottles on perches, and you know, my mother has made some glass art as birds. They're just a beautiful animal, and it's something I actually hadn't realized that they're, some of the species um, where I'm from uh, aren't, aren't in San Francisco, but in general they're just very beautiful animals, and they've managed to and have survived the onslaught of humans and are very resourceful.